Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Omnia. This is their part number 1600 in an A function. This is a mortise lock body is what it is. These, um, this would be for your knob by knob, your lever by lever, your exterior thumb piece by trim on the inside. These are handed. Um, there are reversing instructions down below this video. I would encourage you, well, if you've never reversed a mortise lock body, to not even venture to reversing the, the, this mortise lock body. It is not for the faint of heart. Um, it can be done. The instructions are there. Order it the proper hand. Okay. They literally tell us, do not open lock case. Read reversing instructions first. Um, this lock case will come off. You can reverse it. Uh, depending on what you have to reverse, it might be not a big deal. You might just have to reverse the latch only, or you might have to reverse the stacking of the hubs. Um, order it the hand that you need, uh, please. So this is a right hand, and that means that the um, secured side is on the push side of the door. It will have hinges on the right as you push it away from you when you're on the secured side, what would be the keyed side. This function will allow us to work with a grip handle here. It has its stop works button in the edge in order to uh, lock that from the outside. Uh, so let's take a closer dimensional look. This is a typical mortise lock body. This is going to have an 8 inch tall preparation in the ed edge of the door. It's 8 inch tall. It's going to be inch and a quarter wide. Okay. The armor front that will go over this would be exactly eight by inch and a quarter. And the armor front is the additional piece of material that is applied to the edge of the uh, door to cover the mortise lock, which would give you access to much of the inner workings of the lock body, such as the screws that would hold on your mortise cylinder. Um, it would give you the ability to otherwise tamper with this. So having a mortise lock that has a body plate amendment then an applied armor front uh, would certainly be standard uh, for today's construction. If you looked at a mortise lock, if you looked at a Yale catalog from 1920, they're going to have solid or Corbin uh, or Sargent, they're going to have solid portions out here that are about a quarter inch thick. You had immediate access to the hole that, that controlled the screw, etc. There were also models that had a separate armor front that would apply to this backing plate. So that armor front is going to be what's there. This button, this toggle, this is called the stop works. The stop works is the proper definition for this. That's going to uh, permit um, exterior as, uh, access like a passage set would be. When you hit the stop works in the edge and close the door, your exterior trim is locked. This function is the A function. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page, uh, pardon me, to the cut sheet. That cut sheet will allow us to go over the different functions. Um, the A function would be considered a standard function versus the panic proof F function. I think the F function should be this typical lock that people order. However, once upon a time, really a panic proof, well, actually, that's probably incorrect. I think I've seen references to emergency egress. Uh, simultaneous retraction on the inside and catalogs that were very old. The A function means this. Your latch bolt, and I'm reading it from the description, your latch bolt operates by knob or lever from either side. So you can always use the knobs or the levers from either side, except when the outside is locked by the, the um, stop button. Okay? The stop works. It's unlocked because I can hit that little grip and pull it back. Simultaneously, I would be, or, or uh, at the same time, I would be able to have my trim through the hubs and their spindles be able to retract the latch bolt like I'm doing here. If I hit the stop works button, now all that's going to be locked down. And certainly on the outside, this is going to be fixed. I won't be able to rotate that. When you've got the stop button or the stop works in the locked position, then it opens up by a key on the outside. My key will always... I'm on the outside. My key will always retract the latch. Or by your knob or lever from the inside. I can rotate that and get out. 
The deadbolt is activated by the key outside and by turn piece inside. So this is where your, your thumb turn would be. The issue is going to be when I throw that deadbolt, I'm locked. You're going to need to first retract the, the latch bolt and then exit. So there are two operations with a A function versus the F function, which is basically when that deadbolt is thrown, you'll be able to rotate that and draw both back. They do offer both functions because both types of functions exist in the world. And in fact, probably pound for pound, the most common would be the A function where people know to retract the, the deadbolt and then you can exit. I would prefer a single operation to draw everything back. Um, you're still throwing the deadbolt with a manual thumb turn when you come in and lock, but I'd like one action to be able to get out. Um, turning of the inside knob or lever will retract both deadbolt and latch bolt at the same time in the F function. So this back set It's a two and a half inch back set on this lock. It's coming up a little bit short because I don't have my armor front and if I padded that out to account for my armor front, I would indeed be at two and a half inch, okay? Um, reversing this, again, is not for the faint of heart. I would urge you to proceed only if you had to. I would immediately take a photograph of the lock body before you started to do anything. Very particular, there are a lot of moving parts inside of here that unless all of them are seated into this plate, all of the pieces, and there are five screws. There's one up here, one here, one here, one under here, and then one down here as well. Right there at my finger. Um, take a photograph of it because you'll, you may need to refer to it to get everything put back together. Um, looking at the Looking at the, the reversing instructions, place the lock body flat on a work surface. Flip lock over, remove screws holding lock cover on and remove the lock cover. And basically what they get into at that point is to, depending on, um, you know, if you have to just reverse the latch bolt, um, if this was going to be a right hand reverse function, you would only reverse the latch bolt because your hubs would still stay the same. This is still the secure side even though rather than the door swinging this way, it now will swing out this way, okay? And there you go. Uh, condo building in the Gulf, uh, on the Gulf Coast of Florida, probably 30 stories, couple hundred units, needed to have some of these on hand. And they ordered them handed so that they did not have to get into the uh, mechanics of having to reverse that material. It's going to include a cam which is nice. This is the cam that will work for this lock body alone. So if you're using someone else's cylinder, you're going to want to have a cam that will match these dimensional properties. Then a couple of uh, screws uh, that's going to allow you to hold the lock case securely into the edge prep of the door. Okay. Let's put a tape measure down the lock body itself just to put some reference points from the top of the case down to the center of the cylinder. Looks like it's about seven eighths. Down to the hub for the deadbolt looks like it's about two inch down to the center line of the hub for the trim, about four and a half inch, okay? Overall depth of the lock body, about three and a half inch. Overall height, about five and seven eighths. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Omnia products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Omnia, this is their part number 1600 mortise lock body and an A function right hand. And I've got some here. I've got three rights and three lefts for this client. Or any other Omnia product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.